And I'm Brad, and this is Forum. Uh, we're a digital payments community. Okay, so payment networks uh, focus on resolving failed transactions. Uh, but even when the funds are returned, consumers have still had a terrible experience. Uh, Amazon, eBay, Uber, Airbnb all focus on reviews. Why do they focus on reviews? Because prevention is worth more than arbitration. And how do you deliver prevention to those who pay with Bitcoin? <coughs> By building a Bitcoin wallet with verified reviews. This is a quick mock-up. So you can see here, uh, this would allow consumers to search merchants in their area by their reputation. Uh, all these reviews are verified. I'll explain that in a second. Um, and let's see, this is like the search function to find reputable merchants in your area. Here you are writing a review, uh, with a star rating one to five. Uh, if you dispute, then some text. Uh, and so how do we build this? First was we uh, verified a review by using the same private key that you used to make the Bitcoin transaction to sign the review that you made. Therefore, we know that you're the person who made the payment. And the next step is search, uh, which we'll take a look at quickly. Perfect. So uh, if I'm searching in my area, and let's see if I want to check out the supermarket, I can pull up the details here, and you can see that uh, we're tracking you know, what you paid, how much you paid, uh, a review of how you feel, and then also you can see a merchant response here, which is uh, like the Bitcoin user gets a 10% 10% discount. So, uh, what is it? and then finally, wallet functionality. Uh, we're going to end up using Copay. Oops, sorry. Thank you. And why does all of this matter? Uh, because reviews equal higher quality transactions. By combining your transactions, your friends' transactions, and the transactions of those in your community, you can end up making better purchases. And so where do we start paying with Bitcoin? Pretty much everywhere. And uh, this is the team, so that's uh, Michael. He's actually the back-end dev on this. Uh, he's founding engineer at Carlytics, which you may know as Bank America Deals. Uh, that's me in the middle, and I work together with Brad at Talkable, a YC company, uh, formerly Curebit. And please sign up for our Alpha Wallet. Find the form. Uh, questions? Yeah. yeah um, so how would, might you prevent like a merchant from abusing it? I mean, can't they just like send any arbitrary transaction and claim it's some pur purchase and to kind of like falsify the reviews? How's yeah. So he's asking uh, how do you prevent a civil attack? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so the answer is write more code. Right, so basically you just do data analysis on these attacks. Also, Bitcoin has a unique feature, which is you're actually paying, right? So I can actually wait transactions, and then I can track your reputation through time. So there's actually some, a lot of analytics we can do around that. From the merchant side, you're obviously really protected, because in order for somebody to try to write bad reviews on you, you they would have to send you money. <laughs> yeah. A anybody else? Okay, if I got ten... No one? No takers? What do I want to do? Yeah, so um, if I'm a merchant and I'm selling several different products that have different prices, how does the review system know which transactions to my address are were purchases uh, as opposed to something else? So, for yeah. for example, why can't I send you know a very very small amount and attach a review to it and claim? Yeah, Same, so it's kind of like a similar question. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if we're collecting a bunch of transactions from merchants, we can then analyze uh, those, those different sets of transactions and then put them into buckets. I guess how I'd solve that. Oh, go ahead. Can you remind us where you're storing the review actually at? Okay, yeah, so uh, there's a front end part of the application, which is the wallet. There is a secondary application, which is where you're storing the reviews, which is right now on our server for MVP, but that could also be stripped out into uh, something that could be distributed and stored across multiple servers. And then there's also a third one here that's kind of like the messaging between consumers and merchants, which is another service that could potentially be stripped up. I, I, I mean, have you thought about uh, when you say distributed across multiple servers, but those are still your, your servers? Or no, 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 no. So you're thinking distributed application for yeah. storing reviews? Right, so you could store your own reviews, for instance, and then you can allow the people who want to, in your network, to see your reviews on your local device, depending on how much storage they take up. Cool. All right, uh, I think that's it. Thanks, guys.
I'd just like to give a shout out to Christian Peel, who was grilling them heavily. Um, part of the academic committee, helping to organize all of our classes. Thanks a lot, Christian.